Hi YouTubers, today we're doing a review of the Super Deal Pro Desktop Electric Lab Laboratory Centrifuge Machine Lab Medical Practice with Timer and Speed Control. I mean, <laughs> these Amazon titles are really long. Super Deal uh, is actually the name of the company that sells it. And I found that there are different companies selling this, what appears to be the exact same model. Uh, it's made in China. Uh, it runs off regular US 110 voltage outlets. And uh, specifications include a timer, which you can see over here, uh, which goes up to 60 minutes or you can set it on continuous mode and then you can uh, the, the highest uh, speed is 4,000 revolutions per minute but you've got one two three four five six seven eight steps in between so um, you know you can set it as you need it uh, you can see at the top there's a top lid which you see that comes off and inside it comes with six of these 20 milliliter tubes and uh, there's a little bit of plastic over here which I guess is supposed to come off I just left it there for now so um, I'm gonna plug it in and And um, I bought this machine because I wanted to do tests on soil samples, pH, and possibly other parameters such as nitrogen, potassium, um, and uh, uh, the other parameters of the soil as needed, pH. Um, uh, and what I found was it would take um, uh, like forever. Like if you, you, you take a piece, some soil, you put it in a container, you stir it up with, I use RODI water, that's reverse osmosis, deionized purified water to mix up the soil into a slurry. And then uh, the question is, how do you clear up that mud after you you stirred up the soil solution? And I would let it sit there, and it would take maybe three days, and even at three days, it wouldn't get totally clear. So I thought about getting a centrifuge, and uh, this one was only fifty nine bucks, well fifty nine eighty nine with free shipping. And uh, I thought, well, that's still a lot, you know. I mean, for my purposes, I don't do it that often. But um, I finally broke down. I said, let me, I, let me get one. I, I really would like to have the flexibility of uh, getting a soil sample, testing it uh, from different areas, different garden beds as needed. And um, I used the soil savvy uh, tests which are very good, but they cost $30 a piece. You have to send them off. It takes a couple of weeks to get results. And uh, this, you can just do it and uh, get the results right away. So I'm going to put the cap on here. And I have it set right now for 2,000 RPMs. And uh, like any kind of manual timer, you turn it on and you turn the timer higher than you want it and then you go back and you can tell this is relatively quiet I don't think I would put it in the TV room while I was watching a quiet scene from a movie but it's it's not annoying at all uh, and um, basically you just set it set the timer and it shuts off when it's done now, I didn't know how long to uh, do this for, or what speed, so I just guessed. And I set it for 2,000 RPMs, 
and 10 minutes and uh, it worked out fine. Uh, the soil, uh, the, the water that got um, separated was mostly clear. Uh, you could tell there was a minimal amount of cloudiness in there, but nothing that would interfere with a colorimetric test, such as a pH test, a nitrogen, uh, potassium, phosphorus test, or whatever and uh or ph test uh so so you're good so basically you make your soil slurry and 10 minutes later you have your soil solution ready for testing so i'm gonna turn this off now. well actually why don't we turn it all the way up so it's it's louder on the highest setting um but it's not super loud I'm going to put it back there and turn it off. And so, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with this. Uh, you know, it didn't cost that much. It does the job. Uh, there is one thing you got to be careful with, that if you turn the dial too far to the left, it turns the machine back on again in continuous mode. <laughs> so, so just be be aware of that but as long as you're aware of it it doesn't interfere with anything um, it's rated for uh, 1790 G's 20 milliliter uh, uh, tube sizes and it can handle six tubes at a time when you use the centrifuge make sure you use uh, equal amounts in opposite tubes because it's a spinning device, it needs to be balanced. Um, oh, the other thing is it has these suction cups at the bottom. And if I push down, that thing isn't going anywhere. You can see the whole, the whole table's moving if I try to... I mean, that really sticks to the table surface. So I can't tell, vouch for how long it'll last, but I don't do that many tests. So for me, it'll probably last about 10 lifetimes. So um, if you're looking for a, a cheap centrifuge to use for soil sampling, this will do the trick. Uh, I recommend it. Thanks for watching.